Hello everybody, it's Jordan Computer Scientist here and today I made a fortune teller inside of JavaScript instead of Java this time in order to keep practicing JavaScript. So with all the math and all of everything going on, I've decided that I actually might be getting my associates very soon. I have to start doing actual projects, not simple projects like this, obviously. I'm talking about more difficult projects along the lines of web development. I would like to do this, so in order for me to do this, I really have to speed up my process um, on Codecademy and actually finish that so I can be a somebody. So right here, I have created a fortune teller program. It's very simple, honestly. All I did was basically the same thing inside of Java, except it's less code. I would show you the Java project in order to compare them two, but I'm not gonna do that because the screen recorder I'm using is only on VS Code right now, and it's not my entire computer. And I find that better for visibility of my code, so yeah. But I'm just gonna go over what I did in this project in order to create this program. So here I have let num, my variable, equal math.floor. This is to take away, well, to round the number and not make it a decimal. And math.random gives me a random number. And when I multiply it by 10, it gives me um, numbers from zero to nine. And when I add one, it'll give me numbers from one to 10 because I don't want zero. I want one to 10. So right here, console.log is just gonna log the number to the bottom. As you can see, I already kind of ran a program, but I'm just clear that out. We log the number to the program and then I use switch case right here in order to give me a different statement each time it's ran. So it's truly a randomly selected statement. <laughs> It gives, it gives me a random fortune every time. It's not the same fortune and it doesn't go in order. It gives me random fortunes every single time. I didn't want to make them extremely bad because you know, you can speak things into existence. And I feel like only the worst one I did is that you will be sad and you can come back from sadness. So it was pretty chill. So I have switch num and it's gonna check, like I think of it as like in case num is one, print out this, in case num is two, print that and so on and so on and so forth. So here, I'm just gonna run the program and as you can see, it prints three, you will be sad. Let's run it again. And it prints, okay, three, you will be sad. That was just, you know, um, random. Like I wasn't, like I just got a three twice. It works, I swear. See here you have eight, <laughs> you will get a good job. And if I run it again, I should get another random one. Okay, I keep getting three, you will be sad for some reason. I don't know why, but it's just randomly selecting three every single time. But I swear, the program works. It actually picks a random number every time. Um, five, you will lose your pencil. Nine, you will fly. I did this really to just um, understand that I actually am comprehending everything that I'm learning from Code Academy. Just because I go over lessons, I do the practice projects, and then I never see it again. So I did this in order to practice what I did learn. I'm gonna put um, this entire thing in a function, just to practice functions, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna highlight everything, and not in the switch, but yeah, I'm just gonna highlight everything. Hit tab, and right here, Let's do, oh, I said <laughs> I accidentally typed a bad word. So right here, we're going to actually make a function and I'm gonna name it prog, short for program, and put the parentheses right there. Okay, apparently prog is a keyword, so I'm just gonna do program. And put the curly braces there, put that, put another one down here and here we go. I spelled function wrong, so that's why I had that um, red. It wasn't red, it was pink. Like, I don't know, it was weird. But basically I have program here. So if I run this, the only thing that should print is nothing because I didn't call the function. So I'm gonna run this. 
there we go see and there's nothing here actually i'm going to clear the console and run it again just so you guys can see there's actually nothing there and i actually know what i'm talking about this is this is me practicing coding now if i come down here and i just um i type in program with a capital p because that's what i put with the parentheses and then the semicolon which i don't actually have to put in order for the program to run you will see that the actual program run runs <laughs> 10 you will find three dollars let's run it again and you will see five you will lose your pencil <clears throat> that's the entire program i use functions i use switch case uh, i used an if else statement earlier but uh, i use switch case in order to make that easier because who wants to keep typing if num equals this then print this else if this you know no one wants to do that especially not me it'll really hurt my feelings so that's why i did switch case and i also used um i didn't really use that much i mean i used math.floor and math.random i guess that was practice also because it, it'll, it'll definitely come in handy at some point but yeah that's technically the first program well yeah it's 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 the first javascript program that i just did inside of vs code and without really looking at anything so yes showing my progress as i'm progressing and i hope you guys are also progressing i just passed my linear algebra test with an 86 very happy about that um the future is looking bright for that class finally because it wasn't at first but yeah that's the entire video Thank you for watching my video. I'm going to see all of you on my next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord. I changed the link. Someone told me that the links wasn't working in my last video, so I just changed it. And now it should be working. So join my Discord. Follow me on all of my social medias. Uh, my name on both Twitter and Instagram is JordanTheCS. So it shouldn't be that hard to find. Um, Twitter's more computer science. Instagram is gonna be more of everything so just to tell you that before you know what you're getting into and yeah thanks for watching I'm insecure still and she's starting to notice she think my feelings are bogus but really she is my bonus I don't like how I wrote this because it's flowing so slowly I solely 